Hello, my dear friends. So till last lecture, uh, we have done, uh, we have designed a robot that can sense a hurdle and uh, change its path. Now uh, in this experiment, today's experiment, uh, which is the last uh, experiment as well in DT2 robotics part, to design a robot that can follow a path. So whatever path we give, it will just sense the path and just, uh, uh, just walk on that path only. So to do that, uh, we will be using the same model, which we have designed in the last uh, experiment. And we will just try to edit it. Okay. You can develop uh, your own uh, from the starting. I'll be using this one. So uh, for that, uh, we will not be using this graph because we don't need to measure the distance from the uh, hurdle. And we will not be using this vision sensor. Mind you, this uh, vision sensor was a perspective type. So uh, you can see this is a cone type shape. It has a wider view. So this we will not be using. Okay. So first of all, let us add a path on which the robot will uh, uh, will follow, will move. So to do that, we need to go on this add tab and add a path. We can take a close path. Okay. Then if you click on this plus icon, you can see here that there are many points. Yeah, these are points. So this uh, curve is made of uh, this point. Okay, so you can edit any of these uh, points. So just click on this point and just uh, go on this position tab. And then uh, you can just, uh, this point will be highlighted. This is the point C. And now you can just drag it out by a bit. You can change the shape of the path. Okay. So you can create your own path. Now let us uh, just shift this uh, path. And let us minimize this. Uh, let us shift this path out of uh, this uh, cylinder boundary. Okay, so let us do this. Okay, this is fine. So once you have uh, shifted it, uh, uh, shifted the path out of this uh, cylinder boundary, so we can uh, do one more thing. Uh, we can uh, just uh, uh, paste a Python script for this path. So this is the Python script, which is already there. So we need to edit it. So I will uh, be giving this code to you. So this will be in the, in the drives uh, uh, link that will be shared in the description box. So just uh, copy it and paste it here. Okay. And you need to click this upload button so that the path is reset to this configuration. Okay. So you will be having this, uh, uh, this, uh, comment from the compiler that customization script path was reset. Now, uh, just uh, to broaden this width of this, uh, uh, path, we can just go on this tab, uh, this second icon, which is uh, showing here, three bars are there. Just double click this and uh, just uh, click on this, generate extruded shape. So this shape will be appearing. Okay. Now uh, our first job is complete. We have uh, added a path. Now we just need to add some sensors so that uh, the sensor can detect this path. So mind you, this path is on the floor. So let us add some sensors. So add one vision sensor and we will be using an orthogonal type. So just see uh, this orthogonal type sensor is having a rectangular view. So something which is coming into this region uh, will be sensed. So what we need to do, uh, this sensor should sense the object or the path 
on the ground so uh, it should be uh, it should be viewing uh, the ground so we have to just uh, uh, orient this sensor such that uh, it can see the ground so for that uh, uh, we can just uh, rotate this vision sensor by this rotation tab go on this rotation tab and just uh, enter 180 degree so it will just uh, reorient itself so now you can see it is just reoriented now you will not be able to see this uh, for that we need to shift this so let us shift this okay so uh, let us uh, give a position to this so directly go into this tab and let us say uh, it is at 0.2 meter in x direction in y direction let us say 0 and in z direction uh, let us say it is 0.018 so now you can see this sensor it is here right here okay so we will uh, name it as uh bubble rob let us say middle sensor okay Uh, so just uh, do not forget to uh, uh, type this s in caps because i have used the codes uh, whatever code i will use i will i am using this name so you should be very cautious to uh, to just give the same name as you are seeing in here so we will be using two more sensors one will be towards the right of this uh, sensor middle sensor and one will be towards the left of this middle sensor so that uh, whenever the uh, the, uh, the robot senses the path uh, from the right sensor it will rotate towards the right direction to follow the path and when uh, the left sensor will detect the path then the robot will uh, rotate towards the left of the uh, towards its left direction that's why we are having three sensors here so uh, what we need to do just uh, we need to copy this and paste it copy this and paste it again paste it so we will be naming one of the uh, sensor has to be the left sensor let us say this is the left sensor don't uh, forget to press the right uh, the enter button then uh, this second will be the right sensor okay so now the left uh, at present uh, all the three sensor at the same point so we need to just shift the location so uh, the position tab uh, we will you be using so here it is zero so what we need to do uh, just see uh, this y axis uh, you can see this green icon uh, this axis it is showing red is the x uh, z is uh, the blue one and green one is the y one so if we need to shift uh, towards the uh, left of this middle uh, sensor then we need to uh, just type in positive uh, let us say 0.042 press the enter now you will see uh, another sensor ha has appeared just left towards the middle sensor and uh, to just make uh, the right sensor uh, what we need to do just opposite of that so we will be uh, placing this sensor at minus minus 0.042 okay now you can see another sensor it has appeared now here there are three sensors okay so sensors property you also need to uh, uh, change uh, so you can make the resolution as to be 1 is to 1 and don't forget to uh, just click this ignore depth information so this will be enough you can do all of them uh, if you have done this before copying then you uh, need not uh, repeat it for all the three sensors but these are just three so we can do it okay so these thing you need to check 
okay our work is done we have added a path we have added uh, sensors now we can just uh, connect this sensor to the our parent bubble rob so to the main body we can connect this sensor and how you will do it just by making the bubble rob as to be the parent object okay now it has been done the thing is done now we just need to uh, uh, give the code so that whenever the sensor output comes the the motor wheels should uh, uh, should act in proper uh, way so if we, uh, the rotor uh, if the motor has to rotate in the left direction then what it will do it will just reduce the velocity of the right and increase the velocity of v uh, uh, left wheel so it will uh, rotate in the right direction and if you uh, just decrease the velocity of the right wheel, uh, left wheel and increase the velocity of the right wheel then it will rotate in the left direction so this is how it works so i have coded this uh, so what we need to do just uh, go on this document file and we need to code uh, uh, copy our code here so for that i am giving you the code so mind you uh, this code will work okay the names are little different so let me change the name mm. okay now it will work so things are proper it looks proper okay so now let us uh, control all control c we have copied it now we just need to paste it here control or control v now let us check the name should be proper so this is bubble rob left motor okay bubble rob right motor bubble rob sensing nose left sensor middle sensor right sensor okay good enough so uh, we have done everything now we need to just uh, run this let us see and does it work so yes it got a hurdle change its path now it's uh, it started okay now it sends the path and it will try to follow the path yes it is on the path so this is how you can design a line follower robot and i hope uh, you have enjoyed uh, this section of uh, dt robotics and you can always play with uh, this uh, uh, simulated environment and then uh, you can uh, have a proper experience and design the uh, hardware prototype of this robot thank you thank you for uh, watching this video and please like and subscribe and uh, provide your comments if you have got any doubts if you have if you are stuck somewhere then please comment okay thank you